Nowadays, unfortunately, most off-roaders never see the off-roads. Instead, they're driven on boulevards like Ludwigstrasse here in Munich. But the G-Wagon, despite all the luxuries like air conditioning, leather seats, wood, and so on, is a real off-roader. And we decided to take it to the Alps and test it a little bit. But of course, such a beautiful, magnificent car needs a real challenge. So this is the challenge, man against machine. And we're gonna go from lake to another lake. The thing is, of course the G-Class is much faster on the road, but Pisto and his bike have a huge advantage. They can cut across the mountains and go through the woods, which shortens the distance considerably. While I have to stick to certain roads and of course find my own little shortcuts. But uh, let's see what the pro says. So Christo, do you think this is a real off-roader? Yeah, I'm sure it's a real off-roader. Does that mean you think you have a chance or none? It will be very hard, but let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's go for it. Go! While Christo and his mountain bike are cutting across the woods, I have to do a little bit of Scandinavian rally driving. And I gotta watch out because this car has very strong off-road capabilities, yet it is very, very heavy. But it's a great beast to drive. The sense of security one has in this car is just immense. And of course the little power slides I can do around the corner. It feels great. Four-wheel drive is definitely a blessing. And here I am fording a river just to take a little bit of a shortcut. And it works very well. And despite being a heavy car, it is so controllable. The G-Class truly is an off-roader that has a strong pedigree. Since 1979, it has kept this box-like design. And to me, this is the most honest car that Mercedes has in its stable. I just love it. And I really wonder how Christo's doing going through the woods. Because he, here I have a chance to catch up a little bit. But he's going straight downhill where I have to go round and round and round. In real serpentines here. But this is where I win because I can go uphill at a faster pace than he can go downhill. The great thing about this car is you can also take an off-road shortcut, which will save me about one and a half hills. Ah, oh, but it is muddy. Ah, uh, but nothing this car won't handle. And here we are. Made it. And we are coming slowly but surely. We're coming towards the valley. I wonder where the mountain biker is, but we'll worry about that later. Yeah, that's it. Oh man, how can he be so fast? I have to catch up. Oh man, he's fast. But I can take the outside line and I'm past him. And he's gone. Oh, but he can cut across. Bastard. Now I think I got him because whereas he can go downhill, I can take a little bit of a shortcut and go up the hill and cross the mountain here. That shortens it by a large, large hill which he has to go around with his bike. 
<laughs> First. <laughs> Five seconds. Five seconds. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. Five seconds. Five. That's it. That's the beast. It's the beast. Oh, how do you feel? I'm oh. tired. I never would have thought that the race would be so close. I mean, five seconds. Honestly, I thought I would have minutes. But this guy, Christo here, he's such an amazing bike rider. He really took it to the max. And uh, yeah, despite the fact that I forded a stream, went off-road, uphill, downhill, he was so close. But it's man against machine. Thank God the machine won this time. But let me ask you this. Would you trade it ever for your bike? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love my bike. But it's a really nice car. Yeah. So if there were a car to get for your off-road capabilities, would the G-Class be something you would think of? Yeah, I think it's, it's impressive for uh, off-road. Excellent. Well guys, we had great fun here in the Alps and um, I can say, perhaps with me it was the machine, but with the bike it was definitely this guy's muscles and skill that brought him so close to victory. Woo! Saved by the machine. Have a good one.